Rebuild the Galaxy is now out on Disney+. Plus. So today we're going to be building the characters that we haven't got from the LEGO sets. LEGO have given us a few awesome characters in them sets, including the Infinities Vader and the Return of Jedi Bob. But what about the other characters that show up for a couple minutes on screen that LEGO haven't deemed worthy enough of a LEGO set? Well, today we're going to be looking at a total of 10 minifigures using official LEGO parts and originally... This was going to be going over all the references like I did with Avengers Code Red, but every other line in this show is a reference to something from somewhere else in Star Wars. Just look at the posters that we use to advertise this show. I think that does say it all. I think we'll get into the minifigures straight away, but there won't be any spoilers until the end. I'll give you enough warning to click off the video. If you haven't watched the show, I highly recommend it. And now let's see the custom figures I've created. I realise that trying to make this completely spoiler free is almost impossible because there are some characters, well I guess they appear in the trailers and like Servo here has appeared in an official set but most of these characters do appear quite a few times in this show so if you do want to be surprised by their appearance I recommend clicking off this video but let's get into our first character who is very similar to the last one you just saw and is another Akbar trooper. Somehow some of these Akbar troopers have managed to get their helmets on. I have no idea how, but it's a hilarious character that they've included in the show and I just had to use this as one of the custom figures. We're getting a bit more complex as we also have Maul. Pause the video, hold on one moment. I know you're probably thinking about this if you have already seen the show, but this mall doesn't look exactly like the mall we saw in Rebuild the Galaxy and editing this, especially with a side-by-side -side image of what mall is supposed to look like, it is clear that the torso and legs used for Lando, mainly the torso here, is actually taken from the younger variant of Lando Calrissian. But I got so excited that I could actually use my Lando minifigure because I don't own any other variants of Lando. They're all pieced together using spare pieces that I didn't think of checking his other outfit. But I just wanted to let you know that I do understand there is a difference between the two costumes and also in the show Maul does have a smaller upper cape around his head which matches the Lando style and I really like this combination of characters especially with how Maul's been portrayed previously in Lego Star Wars shorts, but this is the only real inconsistency between the characters and how they show up in shorts, so we can get on with the video. Who is like Paul, but with an M, and Maul here is wearing Lando's outfit and really fits the character of Lando for the sake of this show, not just with his outfit, but with his entire personality. When we meet Maul, there is also a droidicar which does pop up, and though I don't have the right colors, I had to build it just to show it off how cool it looks. It is carrying six blue milks in the show and you can build this. I definitely had some doubts with the arms holding up the plates, but I'm sure what the Lego designers would have done is hidden this clip just behind the arm like I have to enable it to not only hold up the plates, but also hold up the blue milks, though they can fall if you're not too careful. I'm sure you've all seen Darth Jar Jar as well coming in that Dark Millennium Falcon. I hope to pick that up later this year, but we get a bunch of other Inquisitor Sith-like characters, including Darth Rose Tico, who for creating a custom, I've given Maul's solo figure torso because it does include that golden circle, which is much like the pendant that Rose has around her neck. And we also get Darth Momor Nadon, who is called Darth Hammerhead because many people can't remember the name of this character. This is the Ithorian who shows up in A New Hope in Moss Eisley Cantina. And it's probably no wonder why they've gone to the dark side if no one can remember their actual name. We're heading into more spoiler territory. So if you wouldn't like to ruin any of the surprises from watching the show, Click off now, don't forget to drop a like on the video and thank you for watching as far as you did. But for all the rest of you, our next minifigure is probably my favourite from the lineup. It is Jedi Builder Master Palpatine, which does go really well with that new Vader 
we've got and i definitely still prefer the white hair on the palpatine minifigure in general but they use tan in the show and it's not too hard a change if you do want to fix the color of palpatine's hair i still think even on this character it definitely looks better in that white shade but then again we're still getting light tan hairs on our Luke minifigures, so I don't think it's anything they're going to change anytime soon. I really like the inclusion of this minifigure. There were a few other on the council as well. Jabba the Heart, there was a Cad Bane, and even a Count Dooku, but Palpatine was definitely my favourite. We've then got the smuggler that falls in love with the princess, much like the Star Wars story we're used to seeing. However, this one looks a little bit Different Lego have mashed up Greedo and Han Solo to not only form this smuggler, but of course we've also got the reverse, which actually looks pretty cool. And I might have to try and order these spare pieces to add this Han Solo into my collection. Of course, this Han does then. Both of these do also have custom blasters, which I purchased a while back, and that definitely adds to the minifigures. During the story, the main character does end up building a brick built nerf because they are a nerf herder. And I had to recreate this with the pieces I have laying around. I think it does look pretty cool and it reminds me of something from a creator box. So I think it'd be really nice if we got a Star Wars version in the future. But the series does leave us on a cliffhanger when they introduce the Landalorian, which is the best name from the entire show. And here we just have Lando's head on a Mandalorian torso and legs. But that Grogu face right at the end that they left us with was definitely quite creepy. Now, as I outro the video, I'm going to show off a few other minifigures because if we get in Akbar clone troopers, does that mean Tamora Morrison is leading a capital ship? somewhere in the galaxy as perhaps an admiral or another high ranking and there are a few other minifigures that we've got but thank you so much for making it to the end of this video i'd just like to take this time to plug my brick link because i am trying to get some minifigures over there for you i see your requests some clones and a grievous especially some of the older style minifigures as well so stick around keep your eyes out. I will be notifying members first. So if you want the first pickings of minifigures on the Discord, make sure you are a member. Thank you so much for making it to the end of this video. Be sure to drop a like on your way out if you'd like to see more longer style videos of customs. Keep an eye on shorts as well because I am making a bunch of customs over there and may the bricks be with you always.